Hey everybody, just doing a quick check-in, um, seeing how everybody's doing. Uh, we're of course still sheltering in place, uh, so not a whole lot's going on. Now if you see little gnats flying around, um, yeah, we're using the basement more, but the basement still hasn't been completely fixed. We still have a floor, and it turns out it has a little bit of a gnat problem. So at the end of this video, I'm going to show you how to mass murder gnats. And don't worry, I'm not going to be walking around just smashing it with my hands. I'm way too fat and slow for that, so we're using chemical warfare. But natural stuff you can find in your house. Well, somewhat natural anyway. But I also want to let you guys know, I tried um, Instacart for the first time. If you don't know what that is, it's an app you can download, and as long as your area has it, you can actually order your groceries from places like Publix, Kroger, or wherever they're happening to be covering in your area. Um, you can order groceries and they will deliver it to your doorstep. We did that, I think I put in the order on, I think it was Monday, and they gave me the, no, it's Tuesday. I put in the order Tuesday, and basically the time that they said it could have in is by Tuesday, by that day, like within a few hours, or this coming up Saturday. Huge gap there. But you know, that's cool because there's a lot going on right now. They're under huge demand, so I understand that. And honestly, I didn't have any real problems with it. Um, we ordered like some, what did I order? I didn't get any perishables. Like I, I wanna be able to look at my fruit and my vegetables. And I wasn't sure if I would be able to get to my front porch in time if I got something like milk or ice cream. So I didn't get anything like that, but what I did get was like some soup. Um, really having a hard time remembering. I got some dish, dish uh, dishwasher detergent. I got, I am blanking. Oh, I got Mountain Dew because you need Mountain Dew. Matter of fact, we got uh, Mountain Dew Baja Blast Zero. If you haven't tried it, you need to get it. The Zero actually tastes pretty good. It's surprising. That being said, we ordered two cartons of them. Um, if we can only get one though, because there was enough to go around, that's fine. Uh, we also got white gold. We got toilet paper, which is sad. I was gonna use white gold as my stripper name, but you know, I'll come up with something else. But we also got some toilet paper and we actually got toilet, I just spit, oh well. And we actually got toilet paper delivered to the house. Um, we ordered it Tuesday. It arrived today in mid-afternoon. Uh, it was put on our doorstep. No real problem at all with that. Uh, now, I will say this. If you're ordering toilet paper in our current climate, make sure you can get to that door because they're not boxing it. Like, it's literally just your groceries or in bags on your deck. So there's just two rolls of Cottonelle just sitting over there. But that's fine. I mean, I'm not expecting them to do anything extra. I'm just saying be vigilant because people are going crazy over toilet paper right now. But we had no real issues with the delivery. Um, there was a whole bunch of instances of, we don't have this, will you settle for that? But again, weird times. Like grocery stores are being ransacked for everything. So I'm glad they can get me what they got me. I pretty much got my order with the exception of we didn't get one of the things of um, Mountain Dew Zero, which is fine. I mean, you know, my caffeine addiction aside, I understand it wasn't available. What can you do? But everything else was pretty much fine. Like, they, there's a few things where it's like, will you settle for this? Will you settle for that? But it wasn't a big deal. Like, it wasn't some massive thing. It wasn't like, I'm ordering chocolate ice cream. Will you settle for vanilla yogurt? It was like, I'm ordering this. Will you settle for the exact same thing, but a different brand? So keep this in mind. Um, would I use it after all this? Probably not. Because also like my order came out to be around, it was like $60 and I wound up paying like 80 something. So it was like $20 to have it delivered to the house, which isn't bad. Cause you're having somebody go in, do your shopping for you, pack it up in the car, drive it to you and drop it off. So 20 bucks is not bad. And you, I do tip as well. You can tip on the app. That being said, if we weren't in this situation where there's no way I'm going to get into a store in time to buy toilet paper before all the crazy people overreacting snatch up 15, 20 rolls at a time, 
Um, I would just drive down and get it. But this is great for the elderly. Like if you're too old to get out, or especially now, you probably shouldn't be getting out. You can order this way. It costs you 20 bucks extra. Um, I know money's tight, but at least you're not going to get exposed to anything. Um, I don't know, unless it's sitting on the product itself. But, you know, I mean, you're not going to be walking around someplace where a whole bunch of other people might be breathing in your face. And you're not going to have to track down a mask because we ain't got one of those. And I'm not entirely sure I want to walk around like dollar store Dracula all day. But being said, it's not that bad. Um, I will say, if there's anything you particularly need right now while all this is going on, and you cannot wait a week, go ahead and go out and get it, because uh, it's probably gonna take a few days for it to get to you. Also, there's no guaranteeing after waiting like four or five days, they're not gonna say, oh, we can't get this, we're just gonna have to exit off the list. Uh, also, um, be prepared. When I ordered from the app, and I'm not upset about this, I understand why they have to do it, but they, the bill came out to be around 80 bucks, as I said earlier. They went ahead and held $90 in my checking account for that entire week. So basically they take a little more than what you were thinking, or a little more than what you wanted, thinking or knowing that you're gonna have to like maybe trade up or trade down every which, any which way, and it is just sitting there in your account, but you can't use it because it's in that little limbo stage that your money gets into like when you're paying a bill or something. So be prepared for that. If you have an issue with that, which you really shouldn't because you were gonna spend it anyway, don't do it. If you have an issue waiting for something for three or four days, don't do it. Or if you need it within three or four days, just go out and get it. But this is a good option to stay at to, I can't talk today. This is a good option to keep you from having to go out. And for those hard to find items like toilet paper, um, sometimes bread. I know we, Brittany, um, we were looking around for everything bagels for the longest time. Because for whatever reason, while you can still get regular bread, bagels, they're just snatching them up. But that's fine. Um, so that's really it. I just wanted to touch base, let you guys know about that app. And this isn't um, paid product placement. Um, if you look at the views in our videos, nobody's paying us for anything because nobody's going to pay for those 20 something views, which most of them are probably family and friends and a few accounts I own. But I did like it, I didn't mind it in the least. Um, what else is going on that I can talk about right now? Not a lot. Uh, our local Think Geek is having a um, toy photography contest. So I might enter some stuff into that. Like it's online, so you just message them on Facebook. I don't know if it's like the company as a whole, if it's just local, but I might share some of those pictures after I do them. Um, other than that, nothing else going on. Hope you're all being safe. If you want to join in the conversation, please comment, like, if you want to, subscribe. Uh, honestly, we can use the conversation. Oh, one other thing, I'm doing my own booktube. Um, it's on a different channel, uh, primarily because I don't know how this thing is going to go, and I know that booktubers are particular, so I didn't want to have one channel that had a whole bunch of random stuff in a few booktubes. I kind of want it to be its own thing. So I might link one of those in there too, but I don't know if I will or not because I don't know how Sherry would feel about that. But that's it. Um, oh, and Animal Crossing. Find us on Animal Crossing. I don't remember my, hold on. Oh no, I'm filming this on my phone. I have no way of looking this. Oh, wait right there. I have a, one second. Let's go. I have my switch. Let me see. <laughs> it's pulling up. Alright, let me see. One second. Hmm. You know, I don't know how to do this. I was going to tell you. Oh, here we are. 
All right, so this is my friend code. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. I'm gonna read it to you. See that? So it's SW, which I think just means switch, 76976940399. So, if you wanna find me on Animal Crossing, I'm there. Sorry, I got fuzzy for a second. And that's really it. Hope you guys are all being safe, wash your hands, and please talk to us. We're very lonely. Good night, everybody. Apple cider vinegar. I'm talking to the camera. I'm recording making the bug trap. And this conversation. So, first thing, apple cider vinegar. Containers. Apple cider vinegar in the container. Dish soap. One drop. Okay, a couple drops into the cider. And we're ready. So, what this does is the apple cider vinegar is of course sweet and bugs like sweet stuff. So they'll come and get it. But, the soap inside of it breaks the surface tension. So they land they fall in, they can't get out, and they die horribly. And they get out of my house, because they'd be dead. And also, since this is the basement, that means that people aren't going to be complaining about the smell of apple cider vinegar. So, that concludes our lesson on how to murder lots of bugs. You know, if in everything bagel started to get moldy, would you even notice?